With the introduction of refineries to Star Citizen, we have the first complete or mostly complete gameplay loop. It allows you to mine materials, refine them to get higher quality materials, and then haul them to a location and sell them to get a greater profit than if you were to just sell the raw ore. Today I'm going to take you through this gameplay loop, show you how it works, and explain a little bit about how the new refineries are used. My name is Eternal Pain, and if you like staying up to date with Star Citizen's development, ship reviews, and just general tips and tricks videos on how to survive in the verse, you have come to the right place. So consider subscribing so you don't miss any more of my videos. With all of that being said, let's get into today's topic. All right, so to start out with this gameplay loop, you're going to need a mining ship, whether that be a prospector or a mole. The Grey Cat Rock will not apply to this, seeing as how it mines gems, and those are currently unable to be refined, and I'm not quite sure if they ever will be able to be refined, though they are quite valuable by themselves. So for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to be taking the prospector out and mining some laranite and quantanium. Now this isn't going to be a specific how-to video on how to actually use the prospector. It's more so to showcase the entire mining, refining, and selling loop. This is probably my new favorite thing to do in Star Citizen because though it's not the most efficient or most profitable gameplay loop, it is quite satisfying when you're sitting on a hypothetical pile of gold just waiting to be cashed in. And it is also very appealing to me that they have found a way to finally mesh together the mining occupation and the cargo hauling occupation all into one gameplay loop with the connection being refining the materials that you mine. All right, well, that's enough blabbering on. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be starting at Hurston L2, and that's also where I'm going to be refining my materials. Let's hop in the prospector, head on out to my mining point, and break a few rocks. So for gathering materials today, I decided to go to Crusader L3 because around that area you can find a lot of Quantanium and Laranite. And if you are extremely diligent, you can actually make a lot of money from this one point. That being said, I do encourage you to try other points throughout the verse to see if you can find more profitable areas for yourself. This part of the video is geared more towards the newer players, so if you're an experienced player, you can skip on ahead to the part about how to use the refineries and how to load them into your cargo ship. But when you do eventually get to where you're going to mine, you want to hit tab to pull up your scanner, hold the left mouse button, and let the charge go all the way to 100%, and that's going to give you the widest possible scanning radius, and then just let go of your mouse button, and once you send out a pulse, you'll either see nothing, or you'll see these giant glowing boxes that tell you where the mineables are. Now, do keep in mind, if you're in a prospector, there are some mineables, as far as asteroids go, that you cannot break with the prospector, in which case they will not be highlighted in yellow. But once you get close enough to the mineables you are able to mine, they will be highlighted in yellow, in which case you hit M to pull out your mining head, initiate a scan on it, and it will tell you the percentages of exactly what materials are in that asteroid or rock that you are trying to mine. Always look for anything above 20% for whatever material you're trying to mine. Sometimes there's lower percentages that just aren't worth it because once you finally break the rock down, you might have a, a, a shard of the rock that breaks off and it has 5% of whatever the material you're looking for is and then the other 95% of that shard is inert materials or 
some other materials that you just didn't want. Okay, so what do I do now that I am happy with the percentages in the rock that I have found? All you have to do is point the mining head at the rock and left click on your mouse to initiate the mining laser. Use your scroll wheel to increase or decrease the power and make sure you pay attention to the energy meter on the right side of the mining UI so as to not overcharge the rock because if you do overcharge either the rock or the asteroid that you're mining chances are it's going to explode and it's going to have some deadly consequences okay so you have managed to break the rock down the first time now you want to scan the pieces with your mining laser again to see what percentages are in those shards that it broke into most of the time you're going to have to mine those initial shards down into even smaller shards before you can collect the materials that are in them. So make sure that you are very cautious about breaking those down because it requires less power to create more energy in the rock because those smaller shards are even more unstable than the initial rock or asteroid. There are also consumables that you can purchase to help you either break down larger rocks, increase the stability, or various other things. But I'm not going to get into those in this video. I will talk about them in a later video that's dedicated to all things Prospector. Okay, so now once you've broken it down into small enough shards, you should notice that the outline, instead of being yellow, will now be purple, letting you know that the shard is available to be collected. So to switch over to your collection tool in your mining head, you want to hit your right mouse button and that's going to put you into collection mode make sure that the percentages in the shards that you collect are acceptable because you don't want to be walking away with 98 percent inert materials they're not worth your time and you can't refine them all right so for you new players out there that has been a quick and dirty explanation on how to use the prospector this is by no means in depth there is actually a lot of things to take into consideration when you are using a prospector and i will release a guide as part three of my mining guide in star citizen sometime in the future all right so now that we have picked up some quantanium and laranite let's get back to the refinery and start a refinement job it's really simple but there are a few things that you have to pay attention to in the refinement process all right, so as refineries go, there are certain specializations that each refinery has, and I will be putting a chart that I made myself after going around to each and every refinery in the Stanton system to find out their specializations on the screen right now. I will also have a link to it down in the description below, so if you want to either pause the video or view that link, feel free to do so so you can figure out where to take your materials to get the most profit off of your mineables. Okay, so you've landed your prospector at one of the corresponding stations that actually has a refinery, and now you're wondering what to do from here. So you're going to go into the station, go to the interstation transit elevators, and from there, once you get into the elevator, you're going to select refinery. Once you get off of the elevator, you're going to come out and follow the yellow service signs until you get to the shop. Above the shop, you will see refinement processing. Inside, there are two types of consoles. There are the raw ore deposit consoles where you can just sell your ores and be on your way. And then you'll find the refinement consoles. Those are where you create your refinement jobs and try to maximize your profits on your mineables. Now, it may sound easy to create one of these jobs, but in reality, there are a few things you have to take into consideration. It's not just as simple as walking up to the console, dumping all of your materials in and saying, okay, my job's done for the day. No, there are a few different refinement processes that will end in lower times with less of a yield from your materials, or there are some that, in my case, took a day plus seven hours to get a 100% yield off of my Laranite. This is also where the specializations come in because if a refinery specializes in something like Agrisium or Laranite or Quantanium, you'll get a yield of what you deposited plus a little bit extra because of their specialty in the refinement of that specific ore or raw material. 
So finally, to create one of these jobs, you are going to select your material location on the left side of the screen and then click set up work order. Don't forget to check all of the materials that you want refined. Otherwise, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the ones that you don't refine get discarded. So keep that in mind. You can then browse the different refinement methods and get quotes on how much they're going to cost, what the yield will be, and how long they're going to take. And then once you have chosen your desired method, just hit confirm and then your job will be started. From there, it's just a waiting game. All right, so after some time has passed and you're done gallivanting or mining more materials to create more work orders and back the refinery workers up even more, you can come back to refinement processing and collect your completed work order or work orders. All you'll do is select the location that you would like for your refined materials to be stored in, meaning what cargo ship you want to store them in. So you do need access to a cargo ship to take advantage of the refineries in full. Something like a Cutlass Black would work, but for this video I am using my Mercury Star Runner which has substantially more cargo space than the Cutlass Black. Anyway, after you've selected your ship, you want to hit collect at the bottom of the screen and don't panic if it doesn't do it the first time. You might just have to do it again because in this video you will see that I had to do it more than once before it finally put the refined materials into my Mercury Star Runner. All right, now here comes one of the more risky parts of this whole process. When you finally finish refining everything and loading it into your cargo ship, you want to spawn your ship on a landing pad, go get in your ship and hightail it as fast as you can to wherever you're going to sell your materials. Now in my case I'm not putting myself at too much of a risk because I'm going from Hurston L2 all the way to Hurston which is only I think 1.5 million kilometers away. So with the cross field on my Mercury Star Runner it doesn't take but about 45 seconds to a minute for me to actually get there from the station that I'm at. Um, in other cases, you may be going for longer distances. So just remember if you 30K or your system crashes or anything like that while you're in transit, you will lose all of that cargo that you spent time refining. Do bear that in mind. This is still not a 100% safe alternative to cargo hauling and it is nowhere near as profitable. It's just really fun to see the fruits of your labor. All right, so with all of that being said, let me hop into my Mercury Star Runner, head over to Hurston and see how much we get for this load, very small load, I might add, of Quantanium. You know what that means. It's montage time. <laughs> As you can see on the trading console here, I managed to make about 84,000 just off of the Quantanium alone that I refined at Hurston L2. Now keep in mind Hurston L2 Lagrange Point does not have a Quantanium specialty so now if they would have had a specialization in Quantanium I would have ended up getting more resulting in more profit when I went to Hurston to sell. But do keep in mind I chose the refinery that I use specifically for the interest of time in order to make this video. I hope this video has helped some of you guys understand how refineries and the refining gameplay loop actually works in the game. I hope you guys make some money off of it and have a little bit of fun just experimenting with the different materials and refineries 
seeing how you can maximize your profits. If I have missed anything in this video or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you think I did a good job, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and allows more people to see my content. I have been Eternal Pain and remember guys, above all else, have a wonderful day. I will see you next time in the verse. Thank you.